gentlemen here to sing our national anthem. Please welcome Mr. Hank Williams Jr. that resonated with you today? I think she's truly pro-American, pro-family, pro-good values. Here, one for three, two for five. Actually, I'm going three for five for you guys. I heard you were that. All right, you can get seven for ten if you want. Yeah, she's really good. She's always good. Unscripted. She also needs to tell us something to do. Right. She's the best. Is there any uh, particular message that resonated with you today? Just a little message. She's a little bit concerned. Yeah, I loved her. She's a lot tinier than I thought she was going to be. Yeah? <laughs> was there any particular message that she had today that resonated more with you? 
Well, I think I know her messages pretty well, but um, yeah, that McCain is a really good man mm -hmm. and a man of integrity and is going to do what he says he's going to do, which is most important, mm -hmm. and that he'll stand for the people in the country, which I think is critical. It's awesome. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. How about you guys? All that we expected. Really pleased. Yeah. Very pleased. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of Governor Palin's address today? Wonderful. I thought, there, I thought it was awesome. Better yeah. than we expected. Yeah. yeah she yeah. did a wonderful job. Awesome. Any surprises? Uh, oh, Hank. 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 Oh my God. top the chair. That was the chair on yeah. the top. When she she like, doesn't need to. She brought out. Yeah, she's she got Hank. Hank. <laughs> I'm really Joe. <laughs> I'm going to change it to Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll become popular. How about you? Is your name really Joe? No. Is your name really Joe? <laughs> so, Obama's the man. Obama's the man? Oh, yeah. Obama's the man. Any particular reason? Yeah, the reason to put money back in our pockets. The blue collar worker works his ass off and lives paycheck to paycheck. Can barely put food on the table, but the Obama dude put more money in our pocket. Yeah, so we can do that. Yeah. Okay, you're done. Yeah, okay. Thanks. No. Just judging by the tension and the pace around here, how? Tell me about the atmosphere in the office. What's going on, and how it compares the past years. Um, we are always busy. This year we seem to have a lot more uh, interest. Normally the phones ring off the hook starting on election day. Today they, it started today. And so, as you can tell, uh, there's lots of interest. People need to know where they go to vote. They need to know how they can register. Um, and we've got uh, lines out the buildings for people who are voting today. How has early voting uh, been so far? Good. We are over 19,000 and I've lost track here. <laughs> um, during the day here in the election office tomorrow, we will be answering questions from voters as to where it is that they go and vote. Um, if people have moved out of their precincts, then they go to their new polling site, and the election officials there need to call us and verify that the person is registered to vote and have them do a change of address form and then let them vote. So we have all of those calls coming in from the precincts. Um, we also need to help out or staff the absentee ballot team, which will be uh, at the uh, at the jail, counting, um, we have 20 to 24 people who will be counting the 19,000 some absentee ballots tomorrow. And uh, then uh, we'll take a breath about 9 o'clock and uh, wait for all of the uh, precinct officials to give us a call and uh, um, get those uh, calls input into the system so people can see them on the website or in the North Courtroom. Does the phone ever stop ringing? Uh, no. Uh, we will leave here sometime tomorrow night and I will wake up about 2 o'clock Wednesday morning if I'm in bed yet and think, oh, i got to answer that phone. <laughs> <laughs> Harding sign off. Don't forget to go vote. <laughs>